Hi, this is Dr. Mayberry and Gertie uh, for our last installment on the human skeleton. Uh, so we're talking about the last three skull bones that we haven't yet covered, and that includes the vomer, the inferior nasal concha, and then the lacrimal. Uh, so in my class, you actually only need to be able to recognize these when they're articulated in the skull. So the vomer okay, is this skinny bone. Uh, it actually is this bone right in here inside the nasal aperture. And you can see it from here, uh, right there. So that's the vomer. So you do need to be able to recognize that in an articulated skull. Uh, the inferior nasal concha, you also need to be able to recognize. So again, look within the nose. This is a plastic replica. Uh, so the inferior nasal concha on some of the plastic skulls are visible and on some they aren't. But here we have a real skull, so you can still see the vomer, but these are the inferior nasal concha in there. Uh, so the, there are actually middle and superior nasal concha that are associated with the ethmoid. Uh, you don't need to know or understand that, but you do need to be able to see the inferior nasal concha. Uh, the last is the lacrimal. This I hold it up with a look on my face uh, because it's it's not complete. Uh, the lacrimal on a lot of the real skulls is actually broken. So in the plastic skull, this is the lacrimal right in there. So you have nasal here you have maxilla here and you have lacrimal there. So it's within the orbit, uh, this lacrimal fossa and lacrimal crest are part of that bone. Uh, so that is right in there. So in most of the real skulls, it's very fragile. Uh, so it is often broken, um, but be aware that that's there. So if there's an arrow pointing there, that's pointing to the lacrimal. And you do have a lacrimal gland. Uh, it's actually your tear duct. Uh, and it you know, doesn't all come out right there or anything, but that's where the duct actually sits. So, or the gland rather, actually sits. So that was the vomer, interior, inferior, nasal concha, and lacrimal. So that finishes up the skull discussion. So you should be filling out your landmark sheets or landmark lists, uh, and you really, really need to be labeling these uh, in those pictures on your your actual bone drawing uh, documents. And then you absolutely need to be studying these in the reference library with the skeletal material there. Uh, your quiz uh, is gonna cover all of this. So you, know, you don't need to be able to decide everything in the skull. Most of the questions are going to be on an articulated skull, but they can you know, show up from this angle, this angle, you know, this angle, however. Uh, if I tag it, that's, that's fair game. So be aware of that. Uh, don't flush your brain up with this information because you're going to need it again when we go through the biological profile and pathology and all of this. So you are learning all of this for a reason. So uh, be sure to ask me if you have anything that you're confused about, any questions, uh, email me or talk to me in class. Okay? Happy studying.